Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Sagittarius, we're going to talk about your 2022 predictions. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Sagittarius as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Sagittarius needs to take action. I'm excited to see what these cards have to say for you in 20, for 2022. Yes, exciting. We're going to talk about the number six because two plus zero is two two plus two is four four plus two is six 2022 somebody's on the cusp of giving birth to something amazing yes something you've been very passionate about love it love it love it this is a general reading so please take what resonates with you if you're interested in a personal reading please see my information down below all right here we go all right we have the ace of swords mm-hmm Put these oracle cards to the side. We also have the strength card, which is attached to Leo, which is one of your sister signs. We also have the nine of swords. We also have the nine of wands. We have the king of swords. And we also have the empress card. Yes. All right. So let's go. This is exciting. This is going to be your last time crying over, you know, foolishness. Seriously. Um, because, because what you're coming to understand is that your ancestors have always been there, right? doesn't mean that you're never going to shed another tear again, but this situation you've been crying over for a really long time. Somebody has been crying over something for at least nine months, at least it could even be nine years, but this is where it ends. You crying over that, that thing being disappointed by family members, friends, whomever, because now, now you're a lot wiser. See this owl right here? Owls represent, this owl represents wisdom and knowledge. So you're a lot more knowledgeable. You're a lot clearer about why you were crying. Um, you all are a very smart sign. You all are very caring. You all have a great sense of humor. And so this right here was just totally out of character for you all. And on top of that, your planet, your ruling planet is Jupiter. That's the planet Jupiter, the planet of expansion. And so now you're creating space. This, this nine right here represents transformation. You're in a very transformative state. And it can make you cry because you gotta, you're got you thinking about the people you need to leave behind. You got to think about the people that you, who have tried to gaslight you, who have really hurt your feelings, who have done all sorts of things, right? And so that's where your mindset is right now. It's like, you know what? I'm not going into 2022 with these tears for the same thing that I've been crying over for a long time. And that's where you're going to have your breakthrough. Boom. That's where you're going to have a breakthrough. Like I said, you're at the end of a long path, long journey of enlightenment, right? You're not bitter moving into 2022 at all. As a matter of fact, you're actually excited. It's like, okay, I poured out all those emotions. Now it's time to replenish with something high vibrational and healthy, right? And so I see you channeling your energies towards things that you're passionate about, right? About to give birth to something. Matter of fact, the number six is shaped in a shaped in the form of a pregnant woman. Number six actually governs human love and romance as well as money and abundance. And so we're talking about once you're committing to a partnership, you are devoted, right? This is the number six that we're talking about. But somebody's about to give birth to something they're passionate about. Because remember, this, this um, the tears is pouring out emotions. And we talked about the sacral chakra um, before in a, in a previous reading. And so that's your, the sacral chakra is connected to the element of water. That's emotions, that's a creativity, that's intimacy, right? So no longer are you crying over that ex lover. No longer are you crying over the family members who aren't supportive. You know, no longer are you, you know, looking for, um, people to, to nurture you the way you've nurtured them. You're not looking for that anymore, right? So it's just a brand new day for you all. And that's where you're going to see your breakthrough. It's like, that's it. I'm at the end of the road with this. I, I know better, so now I'm going to do better, right? Yeah, somebody has been severely manipulated by somebody, a gaslighter or a sociopath, a psychopath or something. But look, you're not shedding another tear over this energy, not at all. You're like, you have gaslighted me for the, long, the last time. I'm not going into 2022 with you. You can forget that. You're at a much higher frequency. So guess what? They have fallen out of range. And at the higher frequency, look, imagine if you were up here at this frequency, you can see exactly who it is. You're at a higher frequency. You know exactly who it is that's been keeping you in this space. And you know that they're not going to change. They've been gaslighting. Somebody's been lying to you for a long time. It could be a parent. It could be an adult child. It could be an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend. Somebody's been doing it, but you're done. 
you're sailing away from the depth of the emotion. See this disappointment look? This look of disappointment is a person who realizes, you know what? No matter how much I nurtured them, I'm just not, I'm never going to get the same in return. So I'm disappointed, but I'm done. There's no way I'm going. You're taking, this is what you, this is what it looks like when you take your power back. You've, oh, you've thought about it for too long. Ruminated over the same thing over and over and over again. Hoping that the person, have you ever thought about something so long you gave yourself, almost gave yourself a headache? Not this, not, not coming up. Matter of fact, you're going to get a sweet sleep. I see somebody like curled up like they're in a fetal position. That's how good your sleep is going to be. Sagittarius, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I said, the number six is about harmony and beauty. That's important to you. It's about your well-being. The number six, right? The number six. Let's pull an oracle card. Yeah. I have two sets of oracle cards here. This right here, the Moonology cards, and these are the Sacred Self Care Oracle deck, right? But yeah, there's no way you're taking, you're learning how to take your power back. I love this, love, love, love this for you, Sagittarius, because you're a mutable sign, and so you're the sign, the I C sign. So you've been seeing this for a long time, but now you're seeing it from a different, um, a, a different frequency. You're at a higher level right now, and you're like, okay, this has, this is where you got to tap into your strength because. It's been affecting your money. It's been affecting your mental health, your physical health. Like somebody been gaslighted for so long, they really started to think they were going crazy, but not anymore. You know, you're, it's not you, right? Surrender to the divine. That full moon, and I'll, even though this is not full moon energy, that full moon has fully illuminated you from the inside out. That's what I'm saying. What's full moon right here too on this card, right? So moving, I don't see you all moving forward with this manipulative energy. As a matter of fact, you know, to delve a little deeper into this, what I'm seeing is that anytime moving forward, you're going to start listening to your intuition because you all are the I see. You're going to stop questioning what you see in the spirit realm. That's what I'm seeing for you all in 2022. It's going to be a whole lot of people that's going to get the sword a lot sooner, you know, like severing ties with that. You're not going to have it. the depth of the emotions are not going to be there. If anything, it's going to be that level of creativity, that level of intimacy with people who have earned it and i don't mean sex right i mean the intimacy the intimacy and conversations open up sharing with people the whole nine yards we have sound healing i want you all to go look up sound healing but again it's about surrendering to the divine you all are going to completely surrender to the divine whether you could call the divine god deity a higher power most high god whatever you call the divine that's what you're surrendering to. You're surrendering to it within yourself. You're learning how to take your power back. Like you have gaslighted me for the last time. I'm not shedding another tear over that thing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get me some good, good rest, right? And I'm moving on. That is what I have for you. And again, I will be back in a couple of days for another reading, but I wanted to put this reading up early Sagittarius for your 2022 predictions um just getting you prepared yeah just getting you prepared for 2022 have a great one bye